Whether you've been using an iPad for a long time or whether you're fairly new to using an iPad, they are an incredibly powerful and useful tool. I've been using iPads since the very first iPad came out and I'm always amazed at how much more powerful each different generation is. They're incredible machines. Now, with an iPad, they're very useful because they're portable and they have a lot of really great features built into them. For example, I have a rear-facing camera that can show the world around me and I have a front-facing camera so that I can participate in different types of meetings. I can do FaceTime, Teams, Zoom, whatever the case may be. However, there are some limitations to only having those two cameras. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can add a third camera to the iPad. So a typical iPad will have the rear facing camera, see the world around me. It'll have the front facing camera so I can look into it and my audience can see me. If I want to show things or objects in my environment, the only way to really do that is to put on the rear facing camera and then move the iPad around to try to capture those objects. And that's great, but if I want to do an overhead shot, it becomes hard to manage the iPad while I'm doing the overhead shot. Or if I want to have an image that's far away from me, I want to have the camera separated or maybe pointing at something in another part of the room if I'm teaching or if I'm trying to show something like a whiteboard or a, or a, or a, or a board at the front of the classroom. I want to be able to have some distance from the iPad. And that's where the iPad really doesn't have that capability unless you watch this video. Because what we can do is we can take a very inexpensive camera. This is a USB webcam, and this USB webcam is less than $30. It's a 1080p webcam, which if I'm in participating in an online meeting, if I'm streaming information, I don't necessarily need to have a camera that's 4K. A 1080p is going to be just fine in order to show things that I may wish to show, like a book or a document or a piece of art. The way that we connect this to the iPad is very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the USB connector and I'm going to connect it to an adapter. The adapter is a USB to USB-C adapter because the iPad itself has a USB-C adapter. So now I've connected this camera to the iPad. This gives me the flexibility of being able to move this third camera anywhere I would like in my environment. I could even mount this camera onto a stand and then I could have this stand at a distance from me so that I could have a wide shot if I wanted to or I could even mount this as an overhead camera if I want to. So there's a lot of flexibility by putting this third camera onto the iPad. Once I've connected it physically to the iPad, then I'm going to open some software called Camo Studio. Camo Studio allows me to go in and select the external camera and now I have that third camera that I can use on my iPad. This is a very simple, inexpensive and fast way for me to create a third camera on my iPad. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to add up to nine cameras on your iPad, check out this other video where I talk about Switcher Studio, which allows you to create an entire broadcast studio with your iPad. It's pretty amazing, and that's the next level after you start adding more devices to your iPad. The powerful iPad is a tool you can use for so many things. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.